Hello, good afternoon. Hello, teacher. Good afternoon. Hello. Can you hear me clearly? Can you hear me clearly? Yes. All right. How are you today? Uh, I'm uh, pretty good. Okay, that's good. So I'll introduce myself first. My name is Teacher Shen. I'm 29 years old and I am from the Philippines. All right, what about you? May I know your name? Uh, my name is uh, Fang and I'm uh, studying at Chumichin Secondary School and I'm, I'm in class 6 at 3. All right. So now, uh, do you have an English name, Fang An? Do you have an English name? Mm, no, I don't. Okay, so is it okay if I call you Anne? Quick Anne, in short, Anne. Is that okay? Yes. <laughs> All right, so I call you Anne. So before we start the demo class, since this is the first time that we meet, I would like to know you better. Okay, so by the way, how many people are there in your family? Uh, there are four people in my family. Uh, my dad, my mom, my sister, and me. Oh, you have a sister. Is it a younger sister or an older sister? Uh, it is an older sister. An older sister? Oh, by the way, how old is your sister? Uh, my sister is uh, 14 years old. Mm -hmm. All right, then. So, what's, your, uh, what's the job of your mom and your dad? Uh, my mom is a teacher and my dad is an officer. Okay, a teacher and an officer. So what about you? What would you like to be when you grow up? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, uh, I think I will be a teacher too. Oh, you want to become a teacher too. All right. Okay, so now... I, what are your hobbies, by the way? What are your hobbies? Uh, my hobbies is uh, watch TV, um, uh, play badminton, and uh, uh, study English. Wow, okay. You really, you really include uh, studying English as one of your hobby. Okay, one last question. Why do you want to learn English? Mm, because I want to travel around the world and uh, I want to get a great job. Oh, that's right. Okay, good job. Good job. And so that's a, a good reason for you to study English because you want to travel around the world. And English is a universal language. So um, if you're going to travel to another country, so it's imp very important that you know how to speak English, right? That's what we are doing right now. So we are going <coughs> to start our demo class. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, by the way, I prepared a kit material, okay? Um, this is divided into th three parts. One is I'm going to test your listening skills, your reading and writing, and your speaking skills. And the reason why I ask you some questions before, the, before we started that, the class, it's because I want to test your speaking skills and you're good, you're very good. <laughs> so now Thank let's you. start. Okay, but part, uh, part one, I'm going to test your listening skills. And this is very easy. You're just going to put a tick whether the answer is A, B, or C. And can you put a tick on the screen like this? Um, can you put a tick on the screen? If not, it's okay. No pressure. If you can't, it's okay. You can type your answers here in the chat box too. Or I will ask you directly right after the, the question and then you're going to tell me your answer. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's start. There are five questions for task one. 
I'm going to play the audio now and take note you're going to listen twice. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. What is John going to do tonight? Hello, Mrs. Brown. Is John there? No. He's out on his bicycle at the moment. Oh. Can he go swimming tonight? Oh, sorry, Paul. He's got a football match tonight. Now listen again. Hello, Mrs. Brown. Is John there? No. He's out on his bicycle at the moment. Oh. Can he go swimming tonight? Oh, sorry, Paul. He's got a football match tonight. Two. Which is Ben's family? Are you as tall as your sister, Ben? No, she's still taller than me. And what about your brother? Oh, I'm much taller than him. Now listen again. Are you as tall as your sister, Ben? No, she's still taller than me. And what about your brother? Oh, I'm much taller than him. Three. Which bag does the woman buy? I want to buy a present for Diana. What about a bag? Yes, this one's nice. It's small and round. I think she'd prefer a square bag. No, this is better. I'll get the round one. Now listen again. I want to buy a present for Diana. What about a bag? Yes, this one's nice. It's small and round. I think she'd prefer a square bag. No, this is better. I'll get the round one. Four. How much did the woman pay for the apples? Can I help you? Yes. I'd like a pound of apples, please. Do you want the ones at 30 pence, 35 pence or 40 pence? The ones at 30 pence, please. Now listen again. Can I help you? Yes. I'd like a pound of apples, please. Do you want the ones at 30 pence, 35 pence or 40 pence? The ones at 30 pence, please. Five. What time does the film start? Hello. Hello, Ray. It's Helen. About tonight. Ah, yes. The film begins at quarter past eight. OK, so I'll meet you outside the cinema at, um, about five to eight. All right. See you then. Now listen again. Hello. Hello, Ray. It's Helen. About tonight. Ah, yes. The film begins at quarter past eight. OK, so I'll meet you outside the cinema at, um, about five to eight. All right. See you then. All right, so let's check all your answers. You said for number one, what is John going to do tonight? You said it's C, and you are correct. For number two, which is Ben's family? Yes, it's letter A. And for number three, which bag does the woman buy? Letter C is correct. How much did the woman pay for the apples? Yes, it's letter A. 
And what time does the film start? It's letter A. Good job. I guess I, uh, I don't need to, to test your listening skills because you're doing a great job. You're very good. <laughs> okay. Um, by the way, did you study um, to another center? Did you study English in another center? Uh, yes. Okay, no wonder. <laughs> Your listening skills is very good. But this time, okay, um, this is under listening skills too. It's task two. You are going to complete the information about the International Language School. This is five points. Listen carefully. Now look at part four. You will hear a student telephoning a school. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the information twice. Good morning, International Language School. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like some information about your school. Certainly. What do you want to know? Well, first, what day does the next course begin? Well, our courses always begin on the first Monday of every month. Let me see. The next course begins on the 3rd of January. That's next week. Yes, that's right. And what time do classes start? Well, they begin at a quarter past nine, so you should be here a little earlier, at about nine o'clock. And I don't have the address. Could you give it to me, please? Yes. The school is at 57 London Road. Just a moment. I've got a map of the town. Could you tell me where London Road is, please? Yes. It's a long road, and we're quite near the station. OK. I'll find it on my map. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. Now listen again. Good morning, International Language School. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like some information about your school. Certainly. What do you want to know? Well, first, what day does the next course begin? Well, our courses always begin on the first Monday of every month. Let me see. The next course begins on the 3rd of January. That's next week. Yes, that's right. And what time do classes start? Well, they begin at a quarter past nine, so you should be here a little earlier, at about nine o'clock. And I don't have the address. Could you give it to me, please? Yes. The school is at 57 London Road. Just a moment. I've got a map of the town. Could you tell me where London Road is, please? Yes. It's a long road. And we're quite near the station. OK. I'll find it on my map. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. OK. So let's check your answers. <laughs> yes. So what, what's the this day? This is the end of part four. OK. Oh, wait, hold on. What's the answer to number six? The day the school begins. Uh, is... Of uh, the first Monday of every month, it is uh, okay. January. Mm -hmm. The first Monday of every month, and the date will be on the 3rd of January. Okay, and the classes begin at what time? Uh, uh, the class begin at uh, a quarter past eight. Quarter past eight. No, it's quarter past nine. <laughs> Quarter past nine. <laughs> and where's the address of the school? 
Uh, I think it's a uh, fifty-seven. It's fifty-seven London Road, and it's near the. Uh, it's near the station. All right, it's near the station. Oh no, but it's okay, Anne. You you got four correct answers out of five. So let's move on. Let's test your reading and your writing skills. This yes. is very easy. I will show you some notice from letter A to H. And for the questions one to five, okay. What does it say in the notice? Like for example, we work fast. Okay. We work fast. The letter A to H are notice, okay, or note, notice. So we work fast. The answer here is letter H. It means we repair shoes quickly, okay? If the notice says that we repair shoes quickly, it means that they work fast. So look at the questions from one to five. Look at the underline word. You can... Use this as your hint to find out the answers to questions. <laughs> this is not for adults. Mm -hmm. This is not for adults. Which notice is it?
Okay. What about the number one? <laughs> um, you don't I know? Almost, I'm, I'm not sure what to say number one. Because uh, uh, I think is uh, number one is... Uh, do you have any choices? What do you think is it? I think it's uh, A or G. I'm not sure. G. Okay. So this is not for adults. When we say adults, it means you are, your age is 18 years old and above. Okay. This is not for adults. So it's letter I, A. I, That's right. Okay. For number two, you can try this way. You said it's letter C, the city center close to traffic all day today. And yeah. it's correct. We can help you day and night. Yes, it's the tourist information, which opens for 24 hours. And you can have dinner here. Yeah, the only notice that talks uh, about food is the letter B. And for number five, come here to book a holiday. Yes, it's letter F. <laughs> okay, this is not for adults. Um, the letter G is about school office. It's talking about that. It says that they are closed for lunch. Okay. So that's why it's letter A. So now let's continue. Um, this task is you need to um, read carefully the questions before you choose your answer. So choose whether it's A, B, or C, and here are the questions. Okay. Here are the questions for task three. Task four, rather. Choose whether it's A, B, or C. Okay, let's check. <laughs> it's easy, right? <laughs> so for number one, who's that man with green sweater? Yes, it's A. He's my brother. Where's Amanda gone? She's at the station. I hate shopping. So do I. And how long did the journey take? Okay, this is where, um, this is usually my students got the mistake. Okay, remember that it's asking how long did the journey? It's not asking the distance. When you say the distance, you can choose the letter A. Okay, it's 500 kilometers. But it's asking how long did the journey take? It takes almost five hours. For uh, the journey takes about five hours. And for number fifteen, the room costs fifty-five pounds a night. Yes, and that is a lot, or it's expensive. All right. So you got four correct answers out of five. 
So since this is our, our part four activity, so your total score for now is 18 over 20. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's go now to task five. And this is very easy. Um, just think of the things that you may find in your bag. Okay. The first letter is already there, just like this. You use this to write with. And it's a pen. Okay. This time, um, can you uh, try to speak your answers? Okay, no, no need to write in the chat box. Okay, I'll read the questions and you tell me your answer right away. Let's start. If you lose this, you won't be able to get into your house. What do you think is it? I think it's uh, a key. Yeah, it's a key. And many people put this on when they want to read something. Many people put this on when they want to read something. Letter G. Uh, this, uh, I think it's a... Uh, oh. When they want to read. When you want to read something. Um, usually, our grandma or our parents use this. Because they can see um. clearly. So, uh, I think it's uh, uh, glasses. Yeah. Good job. It's glasses for number 38. People pay for things with this, and it uh, is money. Yeah, it's money. Okay. And if it has been windy, you may need to do your hair with this. Like when you want to fix I your hair. I think it's calm. Yeah, that's right. Okay, number that last four number. You write important dates in this so you don't forget them. Mm. No. It's letter D. Um, sometimes you... Uh, not sometimes, but you always write down what you did this day, what happened today. You write it down there together with the dates and who you met today, what did you do. Mm hmm Okay, no answer. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you the answer now. You write important dates in this. So you don't forget them. This is a pen today. It's a diary. <laughs> you didn't have a diary. <laughs> you didn't have a diary. And? Okay, this is a diary. Um, it's like a notebook, and you put all you write all the important dates or important things that you did in a day. Okay, like today, uh, I went to school and then I met my crush. I crush. We talk and then we eat together. Okay, that's it. A diary. You don't have a diary. You don't have. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I see. All right, then. So now we're almost done. Let's go to the last part of the test. Oh, no, this is not the last part. This is the last task of the writing test. You are going to write one word for each space. Okay, this is 10 points. This is to test your grammar and your writing skills. Look at the example. I'm writing to say thank you. Okay, write one word in each blank.
Okay, what number are you now? Yes, Alkenis. All right, so let's check. So, can you read the letter and also fill in um, the words or your answer in each number? Uh, I'm right, uh, dear Nini and Tony, I'm writing uh, to say thank you for the two nights uh, I stay in your lovely house. It was good to see you again. Here are, here are the photographs uh, of your children that you asked for their good photos, didn't they? I hope you like, I hope you like them. I really love my new camera. I am going to visit my sister in New York next week. I will take a lot of photos there too. I haven't see, seen my sister for a long time. Wow, good job. Okay, you're very good at this. This is a grammar and a writing test practice and you got perfect. Good job, Anne. Now this time, let's have a speaking test practice, okay? Um, answer me, where do you study? What subjects do you study and which subjects do you like best? Answer me the first three questions. Mm. I study in uh, Ching Secondary School and I study uh, many subjects uh, as um, geography, history, English, math, uh, literature, uh, music, uh, P E I T. Mm. Uh, I think it's P E. Mm. Yes. Uh, my favorite subject is English. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you tell me why? Because English is very interesting. Uh, it's about um, it can make me uh, have a workshop and uh, English is, uh, I think English is an important, important uh, language uh, in the world. Okay, so what do you do at the weekends? Uh, at the weekends, uh, I will uh, do my homework. All right. So who do you like spending time with? Is it your friends or your family? I think it's my best friend. Okay. So since you like spending time with your best friend, can you tell me about your best friend? Um, my best friend name is T, and uh, she is my classmate. She is tall, pretty, and friendly. Uh, she is good at the uh, math, and uh, she uh, very uh, she like uh, listening to music. Do what about you? Do you like listening to music too? Yes, I am. So, do you like the same genre of music? Do you like the same music? Uh, yes. Okay, no wonder why you are best friends. Okay, good job. So now I will show you a card. Mm -hmm. Look at this card. It's about um, Peter's party. So... Just look at the card in 2A and I will be asking you questions here in 2B, okay? So, can you tell me where is Peter's party? Uh, it is a garden room, Grand Hotel. It's in Garden Room, Grand Hotel. And whose party is it? <clears throat> mm. Who's having a party? Uh, is
Peter. Yeah, it's Peter. Why is he having a party, by the way? Because he is passes his school exam. Yeah, and what time the party finish? Uh, the party finish at uh, half past 11. Mm. And are there a dance uh, in the party? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I guess that is where we're go this is where we're going to end the uh, demo class for today. So I think and you can study the pet material. Okay. Pet preliminary English test. We have a material like that, which is um higher than this material because right now I'm using cat. Okay. And I think it's easy for you. So if you're going to study with us, we can use the pet material. But if you want to focus on grammar or something, you have a specific material in mind, maybe you can ask the center, what, what do you want to, okay? If you want only to focus in speaking, you can tell them. If you want to focus also in listening, reading and writing, or if you want to achieve or to study all the skills like the listening, the reading, writing, and speaking, you can tell them. And my, um, as my evaluation, I want you to study the pet material. Okay, so I will hope to see you again. And, and yeah, and I hope you're going to study with us in the future or if you want to, <laughs> all right? So that will be all for today. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Chum. Yeah, bye-bye.